So do you know any history about this? Okay. Well, this is the pyramid of Cheops. The height of the pyramid is 481 feet. It has 2,300,000 blocks of stone. The weight of the stone varies from 5 tons up to 15 tons. Those at the bay weigh 15 tons and the ones at the top weigh 5 tons. Imagine it has 2,300,000 blocks of stone. Ancient Egyptians never put any adhesives between the blocks. They never used any cement or anything to stick the blocks together. They just polish the two blocks very well. When you have two mirrors and you put the one above the other, they will stick. It's the same idea here. By polishing the stones very well, put the one above the other, they will stick. The pyramid was one day covered with a polishing stone. Nothing remained from it except for the top of the second pyramid to the right side. And that's limestone, right? That's limestone. That's called Torah limestone, which is a very fine material of limestone. Same thing for the Great Pyramid of Kipkins. But these polishing stones have been taken away by people to build other constructions with. This pyramid has a stick at the top. See, at the top there is a stick to show its original height. There is about 30 feet are missing from the top of the pyramid. That's why they put the stick to show us its original height. And it is said, or well, one of the stories are saying that the upper part of the pyramid which is missing was one day made from pure solid gold, but taken away by the tomb brothers. We're not sure if this is a true story or not, we have no evidence, but some of the stories are telling that this was pure solid gold. It is called, by the hieroglyphic language, the Ben Ben, which is the top part of the pyramid. Building the pyramid was since 2600 BC. They have never used any machine or animal's power. It was only human being power. And according to Herodotus, the Greek historian, he said that there was 100,000 workers working on the pyramid. They were farmers. Because many of the movies are trying to tell us that the people who built the pyramid were slaves. And they were not. They were not, yes. They were Egyptian farmers, had nothing to do during the flood season, so they worked on the pyramid, building the pyramid for the king, happily. Because the king was kind with them at that time, he used to offer them meals, water while they were working. So there was, they found some of the comments of the blocks saying that the king was kind, uh, the king gave us a meal, things like that on the blocks of the stone, which means that the king was kind with them. It wasn't slavery work, it was Egyptian farmers who used to work during the, during the flood season. During the flood season, either so, there's so much water, so they cannot cultivate, or there's few water, so they cannot cultivate. In most cases, they do not cultivate during the flooding season, which was three months a year. June, July, and August. So, they worked on the pyramid happily, building the pyramid for the king. The pyramid is a tomb. When does the king? When did the king start to build his pyramid? Once he's the once he's the pharaoh, once he's the king of Egypt, he starts to prepare for the afterlife. Afterlife was the most important thing for everybody during the ancient time. They believe they're going to live another life after their death, but this is going to be the eternal life. They didn't care about their daily life houses. They cared more about their afterlife houses. The daily life houses, do you know what's the material? Was, what was it made from? Mud brick, which didn't last. We have no trace of the daily life house from the ancient Egyptian time. They meant to build their pyramids or their tombs out of limestone to make them lasting up till now or forever maybe. So once the king is a pharaoh of Egypt, he prepares for the afterlife. He starts to find the place or the location of his pyramid, make the plan, and then order his people to work on the pyramid. Yeah. He never wants to stop working on the pyramid. Once he starts, he never wants to stop. Even the pyramid is towards completion, going to be finished soon. He never stops working. He keeps adding, enlarging, decorating. They never want to stop. Even the workers, they never dare to go to the king and tell him, your tomb is ready, sir, so you have to die now. Once the king is ready, he's, when the tomb is ready, the king is ready to die. So they keep working, working until they die. If he died before the completion of his pyramid, the next pharaoh will finish the tomb, uh, the most important part of the tomb for the burial of the king, then they bury the king. And that's it.